द क्वेश्चन से इज द आयु पैक नेम ऑफ द कंपाउंड दिस इज द कंपाउंड गिवन हियर लेट मी राइट इट वी हैव एन ए थ्री क्लोज ब्रैकेट कोबाल्ट देन वी हैव ओ एन ओ ओके दिस इज एन एम्बीडेंटल लिगेंड होल सिक्स इज देयर एंड क्लोज ब्रैकेट इज देयर सो इफ यू लुक एट हियर If you break this complex from here, this is the counter and first part is positive and next part is what is negative. So you can see the central element is present in the anionic portion. Means we have to use the special name. Okay, so it is cobalt. So the name will be cobaltate. Okay, very clear. The order we follow to name a complex. We have number of ligand, then type of ligand, then we have central metal atom, and then we have the oxidation number of the central metal atom. This is the order we follow. Okay. So first of all, we have to name cationic followed by anionic part. So cation is what sodium is there. Sodium we have sodium. Sodium is there. We do not say tri sodium because three we are getting by balancing the charge. Okay. Like let's say we say this is what. Tri sodium phosphate. No, we say it is sodium phosphate. Eh? And three PO four is there. So we say sodium three is getting by balancing the charge with the cationic and anionic part. Okay, sodium. Then we follow this order. Number of ligands. How many number of ligands are there? Six. So I mentioned this is what hexa. Okay. And this O and O is what ambidentate ligand. And in this case, you can see this oxygen is forming bond with the central metal atom. So I say this is what nitrito. In this case, the IUPAC name will be for this nitrito. And we mention this is what N. No, sorry, oxygen. We mention O because oxygen, this O is forming the bond with the central metal atom. Okay. If we have NO2, then we mention nitro N, and if we have O and O, then we mention nitrito O. Okay, we got nitrito O. It shows that it is forming bond of one with the central metal atom. Then we have central metal atom. Central metal atom is present in the anionic part, so we say it is cobaltate. We have cobaltate is there, cobaltate. Then we can calculate oxidation number. Okay, calculate sodium always shows plus one. Oxidation number. How many sodium are there? Three sodium are there. Three multiplied by plus one. Plus for cobalt we have to calculate. This is a negative ligand. Then we can mention three multiplied by. It is what? No, sorry. Six multiplied by. We have because six O and O are given there. So we have six multiplied by minus one is there. It is a neutral complex. Is equal to zero. Simplify. This is what three plus then cobalt minus six is equal to zero. Then we get cobalt minus three is equal to zero. Then cobalt is present in plus three oxidation number. And we have to write three. We have to write three in a Roman numbers. Okay. Now we can match hexa hexa. No no sodium in the last no. Because it is naming anionic part first of all, so you can see a option is not correct. Sodium cobalt nitride. There is no order following. Okay, in this case sodium hexa, sodium hexa nitrito. In this case, okay, no, in this case uh, oxygen it does not exist. Uh, which uh, which uh, element is donating electron density to the central element? Okay, D option. You can see sodium making sense hexa nitrito. Oxygen, okay. Sodium hexa nitrito oxygen. Then cobaltate, okay. Cobaltate, okay. And then we have three. Three is the oxidation numbers. So you can see option D is correct.